Testing, testing. One, two, bad bitch. Ah! All right, guys. Hi, how are you doing? If you don't know who I am, let me introduce myself. I am Bianca Imani, and I love writing poetry. It is my thing. It's who I am. It's what I do. I love running my mouth. I can go all day, every day. God forbid I finally go and get my podcast mic and it's over for you hoes. I'm just going to be talking all day long. But if you're already tired of the sound of my voice too, I have the solution for you. So this Friday, my book, Finally Free, will be released on Amazon. All you have to do is click the link in my bio download the little kindle app all of this is free besides my book but all you have to do is go on amazon type in finally free by bianca imani and you can purchase my book it's for the low low price of 2.99 get me while i'm humble okay it will be followed up by another short book called um this will be short so what you're going to see in Finally Free are, you know, page long to two page long poems. Um, 12 poems that I've written about different men that I've encountered in my life. And y'all know I got stories. Um, in one of my poems, I do name drop. So if you know me, if you went to college with me, you'll know who I'm talking about. Actually, I name dropped in two poems. So if you're smart enough to get the second one, you know, then you know. But I definitely name drop into two of my poems and I'm just going to be doing a little bit of background on my poems and what is the inspiration behind it. So my book is called Finally Free because for the last three years I have been in a terrible, horrible, awful, toxic, all the synonyms to bad, awful, horrible. That was my last relationship. It was disgusting it was demoralizing it was it took me to the lowest point in my life that I've ever been in and once I finally came out of that relationship I felt like I was breathing a different air and that's no cap like everything about me feels different the way I breathe the way I stretch the way I move my body aches are gone feeling sick is gone like my complete body feels different everything that i do feels different everything i do feels more free and lightweight everything so when i started putting together my poems and it was just like i'm finally free like, I'm finally free to do what I want. Because you don't even realize how controlling somebody could be until you leave that relationship. And simple things like having my messages, notifications pop up on my phone screen. I can do that. I don't have to put 20 million letters in my password so I don't get hacked in the middle of the night. It is so freeing. And I really feel free. I have not been able to write a poem in the last three years that I have been in this relationship three years three years without writing a poem and that's my craft that's my passion that's what I do that's what I eat sleep and breathe is writing and I have not been able to do it ever since I've been in this relationship and now coming out of it I'm able to feel again like once that relationship ended I started you know talking back to somebody that I had to lose contact with because of my relationship and he brought out so many emotions in me that I was able to write and tap in and connect with my passion. And it was like, whew, I'm finally free. Like, I'm finally free of the bondage and being held back and not being able to just live my life and be happy. So that's why I chose Finally Free as a title. Well, the title chose me because it was just obvious once I started working on it that that was what it should be called. It's Finally Free. And that's what I am. I glow different. I I glow different. Y'all see the glow. My waist started getting smaller. My skin was looking clearer. It was different. All right? So I'm just thanking God that I am finally free. And I don't have to deal with that anymore. So 
take this journey with me through finally free and figure out how I ended up where I'm at now, okay? Read these poems, feel these feelings, because I know we can all relate. Niggas ain't shit. Bitches ain't shit either. Let's write a poem about it. Let's get through it together. So I hope you guys enjoy. So Heike, I don't really know what my eyebrows want me to do. I'm just over it because how else am I supposed to? I, I just can't. I don't know. My eyebrows are cousins. They don't want to be twins. They don't even want to be sisters. They want to be cousins. So I'm going to let them. <laughs> 